Good night, good night, have one just tonight. God is good and God is good all the time. My name is Sharon J. Spirit of I'm here to give you a word on tonight. Opposition to the rebuilding. They're going to be rebuilding um, the city back. But then you're going to have the enemy going to try to stop them. You know, and they're going to refuse to stop. You know, they're going to be working. Working with one hand and a weapon on the other hand. You know, um, so when the Sabbath heard that we were rebuilding the wall, you know, he had became angry. You know, and he was greatly incensed, and he re re recluded the Jews. You know, so the Sabbath was a governor. You know, the governor of Samaria, um, just not a Jew, where Jerusalem was located. So in the presence of his associate, in the army of Samaria, you know, he said, what are those people Jews are doing? See, he didn't want them, excuse me, he didn't want them to build a wall back. You know, uh, where they restored the wall, where they offer sacrifices, where they finish in a day. You know, can they bring the stone back to life? You know, from the from the heaps of uh, 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 burning as they are. You know, now Israel was captivity from other lands. Now these captivity eventually uh, intermarried with a few Israelites who remained in the land to from the mix. So that's why a lot of them mixed. That's why it, um like three or four days ago, Samaria is mixed to the most of them was married to um uh, to the Israelite, you know. But they hate each other, you know. So the mixed race of, of people who become known as the Samaritans. So the Jews who return to Jerusalem, you know, on regional of uh, Judah will have nothing with the Samaritans. They don't want to have nothing, you know. They hate each other. And the Samaritans hate each other, you know. So the uh, so Ammonites that who was at his side, you know, said, what, what are they building? You know, even the foxes is climbing up on it. You know, um, what what's it break down on um, the wall of the stone? Now they're trying to discourage them. And a lot of time, you know, pe people will try to stop you doing what you're doing by discouraging. You know, they're building their wall back up. You know, so they're saying, so they're telling them the stone don't even look strong enough. A fox, a fox can go up there and tear the whole thing down. You know, to trying to get them to stop building it. You know, sanctifying, you know, not only that it was so low that a fox could easily get up there, you know, to it or leap over it. But that's the material was so bad and the work so poorly done that the weight of the fox would break it down. You know, the material, they said the material was so bad and weak. So the fox do go up there. The fox can tear it down. You know, so um, prayers. You know, so they, that's when they're going to have to pray to God. You know, hear us. They're praying to God. Our God, you know, for we are the plant. We are the pleased that turn the insult back on their own head. Give them over as plunging in the land of captivity. You know, so come against the uh, discouragement attack with prayers. You know, so that enemy tries to stop the work, but they pray. And that's how you do. Sometimes you can't fight stone with um, stone all the time. You know, sometimes you just got to stop in a moment, you know, and just start praying. I know I do that all the time, no matter what I'm at. You know, so you sometimes you just got to be humble, no matter what's going on. And you just got to stop and pray. You know, and see the to the enemy will try to attack them, you know, but they stop and pray. They stop and pray. They try to be humble. You know, they try to be humble. You know, so do not cover up their guilt or block out, you know, their sin from your sight. For they have thrown insult in the face of the builder. You know, so um uh, they was praying. Nebuchadnezzar Nebuchadnezzar was praying. You know, not for revenge, you know, but that God justice would be called out. You know, so you know, God, God deal with the justice. You know, you know, God, our judge, God, our doctor, you know, our God is our lawyer, you know, God do the judging. And so he was the one who had started praying, 
you know, he was the one like, like that's, that's the whole point. You know, we ain't going to try to get revenge. Let's pray and see what God going to say. You know, so so we rebuild the wall until all it reaches half of his height. You know, for the people work all their heart, work from the heart. You know, and so the work of the rebuilding, you know, to wall progress well because the because the people had set their heart and mind on we um we accomplish. You know, accomplish the test. You know, see a lot of time. And that's how I am. You got to fix your mind, you know, that you're going to continue on doing this, that you're not going to quit. So they had fixed their mind that we're going to fix this wall and nothing not going to stop us. You know, we're going to keep fixing this wall, you know, and we, we're we not going to stop until it's accomplished. And so when you run a race, you have to fix your mind that you will win, that you will finish. You know, so they did not lose faith or give up, but instead they preserved in the work. So when you start a project completed, I used to be like that, you know, but I'm telling you, when you start a project, you know, complete it. And if you feel like you, we have to do like the Israelite did, you know, you have to fix your mind that you're going to complete it. Fix your mind that you're going to finish this race. You know, you got to fix your mind on it. But when the wind on uh, subballing, sub you know, to so, uh, the Ammonites and the people heard that they they were paying Jerusalem wall that had gone ahead and that the gap, you know, were being closed, they were very angry. See, see, they're closing the gap. You know, they want the gap to stay open. They want the walls to still be all tore down in pieces. And sometimes that's that's how people are sometimes. When you all tore down, wore out, and you all both, you know, the people like that. You know, they they talking about they closing up the gap. You know, and they trying to close. They say, Oh Lord, they're closing up the gap. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna be able to see nothing. You know, and so they they had got very angry because they start fixing the wall up and see once they start putting that wall up then they won't be able to see them you know to have their privacy you know so when the enemy had heard that it was known to us and that god had frustrated you know to plan that we all returned to the wall you know so they built the wall and the wall was journeyed together you know to uh to have its height you know, cause remember, remember the um, remember the wall was all tall. It was thick, so that's the wall they're trying to put back together. The height for the people had a mind to work. You know, you got to have a mind. But when you in a race, you know, you got to have your mind. You know, you got to have your mindset. You know that we're gonna complete this here. We're going to complete this thing. For you to complete a project, for you to complete a race, so for you to complete anything that needs to be complete, you got to set your mind. You know, my mind is set. You know, my mind is not set of quitting or getting out of the race. You got to have that mindset. You No matter what, what it's going to take, you know, that you're going to finish that race. You know, so so they all had plotted together to come and stir up the trouble against. You know, so they had kept on, you know, working, you know, um, nonstop. You know, so they had came together to um to fitting them to stop working. You know, so they came to try to distract them, you know, for them to stop working. You know, so they pray that God Himself will take all the necessary action against the enemy. You know, so but we pray to our God and post it of God day and night to meet this threat. See, they they said they throw out a threat. You know, as you keep on working on this here wall, you know, so that's what they put a threat on them. You know, so they had prayed to God for God to step in. You know, in the meantime, they put God said every corner, every corner that they meant it, everybody was working at, they start putting God's there to protect them. You know, so then constantly to combine prayers with preparation and planning. You know, you got to have preparation and you got to have a plan. You know, uh, and his people had trusted God 
and at the same time they kept vision watch over what had been you know entrusted to them you know so in the meanwhile some people in jury had said the strength of the labor is given out and there is so much uh so so much that we cannot rebuild the wall so now now they getting discouraged you know just saying we don't have enough to finish the wall you know, so they all plotted together to come and fight against Jerusalem and stir up trouble against him. You know, but we prayed to our God and we posted a God day and night, you know, to meet this threat. You know, so the people's strength of the labor is going out and there is so much, uh, so much that we cannot rebuild the wall. You know, so the placing of the watch day and night in a continued labor must have pressed heavily upon the people. You know, so also our enemy has said before they know it, you know, uh, see us, we will be right there among them and we will kill them and put an end to the work. Now see, now see they're saying, they're saying if they see them, you know, they're going to kill them, you know, to end the work that they don't you know and so so the enemy had wanted to they wanted to stop them from working you know and say enemy in in, in saw you know we we saw not to appear with an army you know before jerusalem but to but to more so secretly that the jews should have not noticed their approach until they had saw them in a the city Arm and, and prepare to attack them suddenly and put them to spawn. You know, see what they're doing. They're plotting. They're plotting to move in, 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 in secret. You know, to move in secret where they can't even see them. Just sneak up on them. You know, and so then the Jews who live near them came and told us ten times over, you know, whatever you turn, they will attack us. Said wherever you turn, they gonna attack and they they gonna sneak up behind them, you know. So they informed them ten times that they will be attacked by all the ways of which we can come to you or you to them, you know. So therefore, you know the stationary some of the people behind the Lord's perm, other wall, other uh expert uh posts places posting them by family. You know, with this sword, spare, and blow. You know, so they start getting a weapon. You know, they're going to have a weapon in one hand. You know, they're going to be still working in the other hand. Then they got their minds together that we're going to complete this wall. You know, we're going to, if we got to fight a month, we are completing this wall. We're going to fight and we're going to work. You know, so now they know that they will be attacking them at any time. You know, but do not panic. You know, don't run. You know, be courage and be on guard. You know, now the people will not go out looking for a fight. You know, but the people of God will be ready to make a stand if needed. And that's in the Bible too. You know, they always say, be alert. You know, be alert. Don't never, you know, be caught of God. You know, God always say, you know, if you need knowledge and you need discernment, I can give you that. You know, but we always have to be on our toes. We always have to be alert because we have so much, you know, uh, so much in this world that's going on. You have to have knowledge. You know, so after I looked things over, you know, I stood up and I said to, I said to official and, and the rest of the people, don't be afraid of them. You know, remember the Lord, you know, who is great and awesome and fight for your family, your sons, your daughters, your wife, your home. He is a mighty God in war. So we to pray to God. So he's saying, don't be afraid. Remember who we have on our side. You know, so he so he encouraged uh, the people to accomplish, you know, in a law test because they were discouraged. They were discouraged. You know, when you discover, you find any kind of excuse. You know, we don't have enough stuff. We don't have enough supplies to keep on finish this wall. Uh, we don't have this, you know. They come in secret and, you know, attack us. Let's just stop doing it. 
you know, they had got discouraged. You know, any law test because they were discouraged. The test seemed impossible, you know, and they think it cannot be finished. You know, too many factors are working against us. You know, you'll find all kinds of excuses. You know, we got so much stuff against us. You, you, you know, they're going to come after us one way and another way. You know, we don't have enough um, supplies just running out. You know, and so somehow got discouraged. You know, so when our enemy heard that we were aware of their plot, you know, see, they was aware of the plot that was set against them. You know, and that God had frustrated you know, now we all have returned to the wall and each to our own work. So the people working on the wall have forced to continue the threat in the terrorist uh, uh, attack, you know, from those who didn't want to see the Jerusalem rebuilt. You know, so a lot of people didn't want to see the, uh, didn't want to see the wall be rebuilt. You know, so one, you know, his stationary, his stationary guards, you know, uh, uh, at East, um, at East Post, you know, too. He reminded the workers to keep the weapon close, you know, at hand and to fight for God, not their family, the nation, if an attack came, you know. So, three, he established, you know, do this relation, um, uh, rotation so that some stood God while other work. And see, they had rotation going on. The guards, they had the, the posts to protect them. You know, so they they had the other one, you know, change ship. One goes, they go to sleep, and they had God's remain on the post or what? You know, so we have to live under God instruction to a position we are fair. You know, so from that day on, you know, half, half of my men did the work, and while the other half was equipped with the spare shield that blow on uh, armor. You know, so the officer had posted himself behind all the people of Jews. You know, so the workers were spraying out along the wall, you know, so uh, devised a plan of defense that would unite and protect his people. You know, half of the men had worked, you know, while the other half had stood gone. You know, so you had people guarding them, and you had they were do, doing, you know, taking um ships. Now, who was building the wall? You know, those who carried the material did the work with one hand, held the weapon in the other hand. You know, so that that is, you know, so they was well prepared, you know, either to build or fight. So they was ready. They was ready. We, we if we got to fight, we gonna fight. You know, so they were ready to fight, and they there was also with building. You know, now for the expression on uh, figuration, you know, it's not being possible for them to work. Now, if both hands had not been at liberty, you know, for in every duty we must expect a position from our spiritual enemy. You know, because a lot of the time God will protect us from sometimes unseen, you know, um things. You know. Uh, that we cannot see. And each of the builders, you know, work his sword at his side as he worked, you know. But the man who sounded the trumpet has stayed with us. They fight a spiritual battle, you know. They had to be on guard, you know. So they carry a burden and what they load uh, in such a way that each labor only work with one hand and held his weapon with the other. And each other builder uh, and his sword had scrapped at his side while he was. So they had the weapon. Some of the weapons scrap on their side. Why this work? Why they working? You, you remember the other team said we gonna we gonna come attack them secret. You know we just gonna run up behind them. You know sneak and run up behind them and get them. So, so they will scrap at any time. To fight, so then I said to the uh, to the nobles, the official, and the rest of the people, the work is extended, you know, to spread out, and we are wisely separated from each other along the wall. That's a big old long wall, big old tall wall. So you're gonna have some all the way spread out, you know, trying to complete this wall, you know. So God, so when He had important um, public work to do. 
you know, never fails to raise up instrument, you know, for accomplishing. You know, so the word of God is the sword of the spirit. You know, which is all to have always a hand and never to have to seek for it. So while they was working, you know, they never put off our armor of you never put off the arm of God. You know, so they work for welfare, you know, are ending. You know, so whatever you heard, the sound of the trumpet, join us there, our God will fight for us. You know, so Father received the uh the uh, anxiety of the people, you know, the set up communication system. The man who sound the trumpet stayed with them, and the people knew what to do if they hurry. So, they follow the instruction. And when that trumpet had played, they already knew what they were supposed to do. They already knew what they were supposed to do. You know, so we continue to work with half of the men holding the spare. You know, from the uh, first light of dawn until the star came out. So there was rotating. Now we see that they continued to work, you know, dressed with the armor of God, you know, and they was alert and they was prepared. You know, even though, you know, they had distraction, you know, threats, you know, on their head, they complete their test. And that's how we have to do it. You know, with, with threats, you know, distraction. You know, we got to have that mindset that we're going to finish no matter what. No matter what kind of obstacles get in my way, you know, I still prepare myself and still continue on pressing myself through. You know, so it was a long and tired journey, but they also had enemies that didn't want it just to finish the wall. So even though you may want to quit, but they did not quit, but continue to work. You know, say so at that time, I also had said to the people, help, help every man and his helpers to stay inside Jerusalem. And at night, so they came to serve us as God by night and as workers by day. So they good that they rotate. They rotate. So the enemy had, the enemy had tried to stop them, you know, from completing the wall. The leader prayed that God, you know, will fight their spiritual battle. You know, so there a lot of time you're gonna be fighting a spiritual battle. You know, neither I nor my brother, nor my men, nor the God with me that took off our clothes, each had his own weapon, even when he went for water. Even they had to go to the bathroom, they just had to go get to some water, they had still was scrap with their weapon on his side. Now they dressed with the weapon even when getting water. You know, uh, each person always, you know, had a weapon close at hand. You know, so they played the sword and they was alert, prepared, and took their responsibility serious. Now, they took their responsibility serious because they made their mind up. You know, they made their mind up. No matter what obstacles get in your way, no, no matter how they distract you, no matter how they discourage you. You know, when you got your mind made up that you're gonna you're gonna follow through, you know, that you're gonna make it, that you're gonna finish it, you know, they had finished and they had complete. Even through the distraction, even through all kind of obstacles they try to come in there with the threats, you know, even with the threats, you know, you still got to press your way to. They press their way to and they completed. You know, they completed the job when they had all kind of stuff came against them you know then let it stop that even some of was complaining you know making excuses but they still did not quit you know so that's all the word I have for you on um, today when you start a project don't quit finish through you gonna the devil gonna send obstacles your way the distraction you know but you got to keep on pressing your way to Keep pressing your way through. And you got to cross all of the obstacles. You know, don't quit. You know, have a mindset that you're going to finish. You know, so that's all the word I have for you today. Y'all have a blessed, safe night, and I'll see y'all in the next video.